Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have two more product recalls I've got to give to you. Can you believe it? Might as well. They come pretty regular nowadays. All right, this first one is some more romaine lettuce. Yes, it is. And this one is by Self. I had not heard of this publication. Self.com is where you can go and type in this title. There's another romaine lettuce recall due to potential E. coli contamination. Now that's pretty disgusting. It's not usually kept around the meat could have been, but not usually. So my guess is it's coming from an employee. Gross. Can somebody say learn to wash your hands? All right, it was put out November 23rd. And under the health department, health section of their paper or online publication. It affects 15 states by, okay, Sarah Mad Medeus, maybe? All right, let's hope I can read this. Let me try to make it bigger. Okay, that helps. Over the past weekend, Dole announced a recall on its romaine lettuce. Dole, that's, that's like a name brand. <laughs> it had announced a recall on its romaine lettuce due to potential E. coli contamination. If you're feeling a little deja vu, you're not alone. This news comes less than two weeks after a similar romaine lettuce recall involving E. coli. Now, I missed that one. We can't catch them all, can we? The company issued, unless we did and I just don't remember it. Now, that's highly likely. But anyway, to continue, the company issued a voluntary recall on two romaine lettuce products. Dole Organic Romaine Hearts 3-Pack and Wild Harvest Organic Romaine Hearts. After a random sample tested by the Michigan Department of Agriculture, and rural development found E. coli on the produce. I want to throw up. Not really, but that's disgusting. The recalled produce affects stores in 15 states. Seriously, that's a lot of lettuce. And it's not just lettuce. It's organic romaine hearts and organic wild harvest organic ro you know that stuff's pricey when you oh, I'll just move on the recalled produce affects stores in 15 states Arizona Hawaii that stuff was flown over there Illinois Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, North Carolina, North Dakota, and Virginia. Because the harvested on dates are between October 23 and October 26, 2020, it's unlikely that any affected produce is still on grocery store shelves. Okay, this is Thursday, November 26th. I forgot to say that. And it's 4.32 p.m. 
Oops. Okay, so that was a month, a little more than a month ago it was harvested. So it's unlikely that any affected produce is still on grocery store shelves. But be sure to check your crisper drawers to make sure none of your lettuce is affected. Ah, you probably ate it already and didn't even notice. Or the sample they took. It just happened to be, no, it wouldn't be just one. I don't know. It depends on how it got there. All right, check your crisper drawers to make sure none of your lettuce is affected. You can find a full list of UPC codes and product descriptions in the recall announcement here. There's, that's a link you have to click on, and I'll let you do that. And if you can't find that and you think you might have bought some organic uh, romaine hearts that could have been harvested way back in October and you haven't eaten it yet, you let me know and I'll find it for you and put it in a comment, okay? Okay. Here's number two. Nearly, now listen up, this, this may, may affect you. Nearly one million sunbeam crock pots recalled for burn risks. And I meant to check mine because I have one that's relatively new. But I've cooked Jasper his stew in it. I think I got it around the time. I still had Buddy. It seems like I cooked Buddy's stew in it a time or two. So, anyway, let's move on. New York, CNN Business. That's who, this is CNN Business by Jasmine Goodwin. CNN Business, updated 5, 18 p.m., Tuesday, November 24th. Okay. Sunbeam Products is voluntarily recalling more than 900,000 of its crock pot six quart express crock multi cookers. Oh, that's right. When I read this, I said, oh, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have that. <laughs> Mine's just a cheap old crock pot. It doesn't do all this fancy stuff. It's a multi-cooker, and they're recalling them for a potential burn hazard. The recall news comes just two days before Thanksgiving. Gosh darn it, and I wanted one of them for Christmas. Just kidding. The problem... According to the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission, or the CPSC, is, quote, the recalled crockpot multi-cooker can pressurize when the lid is not fully locked, unquote. So it's a pressure cooker as well. Wow. Wow which they say, quote, can cause the lid to suddenly detach while the product is in use, posing burn risks to consumers from hot food and liquids ejected from the product. Oh, fun! Let's watch our food spray all over the newly redecorated kitchen, unquote. Oh, that wasn't in the quote. That was just me being funny. Not so funny. No, not if it happened to you, and especially if it hit you. Sunbeam has so far received 119 reports of the lids detaching. Result. Good grief. Bad electro. What do you call it? Who's it? Designer? Who designs electronics? Are they an electrician? What's crawling on me? Probably a hair. I'm losing it every day. Okay. 99 burn injuries. Okay. Let me back that up. 
Sunbeam has so far received 119 reports of the lids detect, and they're just now recalling? Just now. 119 reports of the lids detaching, resulting in, quote, 99 burn injuries ranging in severity from first degree to third degree burns, unquote. Now that's pretty serious. Third degree burns leave scars. And what if it's on your face or your eyes? I mean, seriously, it took them 119 reports to put this out. The recall includes roughly, listen to this, they drug their feet on this one, 914,410 units in the United States and 28,330 in Canada. The multi-cookers were sold in stores and online at retailers including Walmart and they got in parentheses WMT and that's a link you can click on it Target or capital all caps TGT and that's underlined Amazon AMZN and that's a link and other outlets nationwide between, listen to this, July 2017. And other outlets nationwide between July 2017 and this month. And this month they decided, you think maybe we ought to recall this before somebody goes blind and we get sued and lose everything? Let's take a vote. I, I, the affected products which cost between seventy and a hundred dollars are have date codes. Okay, here's your codes K one nine six J as in John and as in Nancy through K. Three six five J N and okay, wait a minute. Okay, so I guess it starts with K one nine six J N one nine seven J N one nine eight because it says through three six five J N. So check your, if you think you have one, all right, and L, so there's two, one must be a little better than the other, maybe. L is in Larry, zero, zero, one, J, N, through L, two, seven, three, J, N, engraved, on either the bottom of the base or on one prong of the electrical plugs. The electrical plugs, what you stick into the wall, hopefully you can see it. Time for your magnifying glass. Okay. The CPSC says owners of the product should immediately stop using it in pressure cooker mode, but they can continue to use it for slow cooking and sauteing. Crock-Pot will send free replacement lids to consumers who contact them. Consumers who continue using the multi-cooker in pressure cooker mode while waiting for the replacement lid, because maybe they've been using it, and they haven't had any problem, so they're like, I'm going to use it. I love this thing. All right, listen to this. It says, if you're one of those people that you continue to use it, 
should be certain the lid is securely turned to the fully locked position by aligning the arrow on the lid with the lock symbol on the base, which is probably what they've been doing, which is probably why they haven't had any trouble, because they used it right, the recall notice said. Now that's just kind of dumb if you ask me, but whatever. I guess it shouldn't work at all if it's not turned all the way to the lock symbol. What do you think? Put your comment below. I'd like to know what you think. Would you still use it? Maybe you've been using it right. I hope one of y'all has one of these and can comment on what you think about this recall. Yeah, they should have a recall because the thing should not work if it's not all the way turned to lock. Figure that into your design. They must have. And the new lids have it. Okay. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.